This is a Burmese python. And this is the albino form, so it doesn't have the natural coloring of the dark browns and the golds. It has this yellowing coloring, but it's the same snake except for that genetic mutation. This, of course, has become the famous for its invasive uh, status now in our Florida Everglades. Uh, pythons believed to have been introduced into the glades through the pet trade several years ago are now thriving to where they believe there may be as many as 100,000 in the Everglades. These animals can be very destructive in that environment because what they do is they feed on all kinds of animals ranging from small mammals such as raccoons, rabbits, possums, to birds such as wading birds um, and going into the rookeries. They've even been known to eat alligators. So this is truly a big problem now in our South Florida environment. They normally come from Southeast Asia. They are not a venomous snake. Uh, they kill by constriction, which means they'll wrap their coils around the body of their prey and they constrict so tightly they prevent the uh, prey from being able to breathe, actually can cut off circulation to the heart and cause the heart to stop. You know, there's a lot of misconceptions about snakes. One of the biggest ones is that, first of all, they're all venomous, which of course most of them are not. Another thing is that snakes can hypnotize you because they always seem to be staring at you. The reality is they always seem to be staring at you because they don't have any eyelids. Snakes can never close their eyes. Another misconception is probably everybody has seen that film of somebody playing a flute and a snake dancing to the flute. That's really unrealistic because snakes don't have external ears. They don't hear as you and I do. They sense more vibrations. You'll probably notice when a snake is in a new environment, it's constantly flicking out its tongue. That's because in the roof of the mouth of all snakes is an organ called the Jacobson's organ. And in that Jacobson's organ, what the snake is doing is it's picking up little chemical particles in the air, and when the tongue goes back into the mouth, it deposits those particles back into that organ, and the Jacobson's organ is like a little computer tells the snake what's around it. Now, pythons, generally speaking, the females get larger than the males. A Burmese python can exceed 20 feet and weigh over 200 pounds. One of the things that distinguishes pythons from other snakes is the males have these spurs. These spurs are basically vestigial legs. If you were to take an x-ray of this area of the snake, you would actually see a pelvis here. These spurs are now used basically as part of the courtship in snakes, but they are the remnants of where snakes used to have legs. Though the Burmese python has its place in its natural habitat of Southeast Asia, it is a huge threat here in South Florida, and a lot of efforts are being undertaken at this time to try to eradicate it from our environment. Hey, I'm Ron McGill here in my office at Zoo Miami. I hope you're enjoying Zoo Academy. And listen, if you've got any questions regarding any of the things you see on any of the segments, please email them to education at zoomiami.org. And hopefully I can get to some of them in future segments and give you some good answers. We'll see you around.